Assalamu alaikum. Today we will talk about the neuron. Previously we talked about the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system and the autonomic nervous system as we addressed the nervous system as whole. So today we will talk about the unit of structure and function of the nervous system which is the nerve cell or the neuron. So I'm going to draw it. So, this is what the neuron looks like. Now, we have two main parts in the neuron. The upper part here, which we can call the cell body, or the cyton, and the extension which emerged from the cell body or the cyto. And we can call this an axon. So first we will talk about the cell body or the cyto. Inside the cell body or the cyto, there is a liquid which is called the neuroplasm and this neuroplasm contains neurofilaments and these dots here which are called nestles granules nestles granules store the food inside the uh, nerve cell or stores the food for the nerve cell and they are unique for the nerve cells it means that they are not found in other types of cells and of course this is the nucleus and we have these extensions here which are called dendrites and these dendrites extends from the cell body in order to connect this neuron with the next neuron. Now, a very important note is that the uh, cyton of the neuron doesn't contain centrioles. It contains all the other organelles which can be found in a normal animal cell, but it doesn't contain the centrioles. The centrioles are used in the process of cell division. And by the absence of centrioles in the neuron, it means that it doesn't have the capability of cell division. So, why doesn't the neuron have the capability of cell division? Well, the point is simple. From the moment you are born till the moment you are dead, the organs inside your body doesn't increase or decrease. For example, you don't gain an extra finger. And so, each organ needs a certain amount or number of nerve cells that connect this organ to the central nervous system. So there is no need of adding more nervous uh, cells. And that's why uh, the centrioles are absent here. For example, if you have a PC and you want to connect a hard drive, then you get a data cable and you connect this data cable to the hard drive and to the motherboard so that the hard drive can be connected to the central processing unit, which is the processor inside the motherboard. If you have two hard drives, you will need two cables, but if you have only one, you will need only one cable and there's no need for the second cable. And if you are a Mac, you don't need to plug in anything. So, anyways, it's the same idea. So that's why they don't have the capability of cell division. Next, the axon. The axon is a cytoplasmic extension 
from the cell body, as you can see, and the axon is called the nerve fiber. And this nerve fiber is used to transmit the nerve impulse from one nerve, from one nerve cell to another cell. So, the axon is very important. It has a very important role in the transmission of nerve impulses through the nerve cells. Now, in order to enhance the capability of the axon in transmitting the nerve impulse, it must be insulated so that the nerve impulse can only move through the axon and it doesn't spread outside so its speed will decrease. Um, this insulator is called the myelin sheath. Myelin sheath. It's called the myelin sheath. This myelin sheath is a proteinic substance produced by some cells on the axon and they are called Schwann's cells. So the myelin teeth acts as an insulator. But actually not all the axons are covered by the myelin teeth. And in the same neuron we can see that it's interrupted at some points. And these points are called Renivers nodes. So the axons, which are insulated by the myelin sheath, are called myelinated axons. And the ones which are not covered by the myelin sheath are called non-myelinated axons. The speed of the nerve impulse in the myelinated axons can reach to 140 meters per second, while in the non-myelinated axons or the non-insulated axons, it can reach only 12 meters per second. And finally, the axon is covered by something called the neural lemma. This neural lemma is found beneath the myelin sheath. And as we go downwards, there are these extensions which come from the axon, and they are called the terminal aberrations. And these terminal aberrations connect the neuron with the next neuron or the next muscle or the next gland to which the neuron is attached. Finally, we will talk about the types of nerve cells. We have three types of nerve cells. First, sensory nerve cells and from its name it appears that they sense the stimuli. So, they receive the external stimuli and send it to the central nervous system in order to be processed. And after this um, stimuli is processed, the central nervous system sends an impulse to the organ through the motor nerve cells. So the motor nerve cells are the nerve cells which transmit the nerve impulses from the central nervous system to the affected organ. And finally we have connectors. And these connectors connect between uh, the motor nerve cells and the sensory nerve cells along their way. So this is it for today and until the next time thank you for watching and see ya. Salam.